across Australia. This is the National News Service, relayed by VK1 WIA. Thanks for tuning us as you go your way. I'm Graham VK4 BB, and this is the Wireless Institute of Australia's National News Service for week commencing June 27, 2010. WIA centenary update, looking ahead in the VK100 WIA roster. Today, Sunday the 27th of June, the South Coast Amateur Radio Club, from its club rooms at Hackham, is in the middle of its three-day rostered slot. The 1st to the 3rd of July sees the Ipswich and District Amateur Radio Club operating from its club rooms, with members providing their support to put the special call sign on air, and local publicity is planned in Ipswich. The 4th to the 6th of July is the roster slot of the Orangen District Amateur Radio Club. About half a dozen members plan to operate moon bounce, aircraft propagation enhancement, as well as phone and CW on HF plus UHF and VHF. The 7th to the 9th of July, Gympie Communications and Electronics Group, with some very long-term WIA members, keen to activate VK100 WIA on CW. And all goes well for the centenary celebration there. Saturday, the 10th and Sunday, the 11th of July, has the Sunraysia Amateur Radio Group at the tri-annual Junction Rally Wentworth. This is a major event featuring vintage engines, boats, machineries and vehicles. The club plans to mount a vintage radio display as part of its support for VK100 WIA. The special call sign does continue to be in demand on the bands with 4,000 contacts expected to be logged this week and heading towards 100 DXCC entities worked. Check out the VK100 WIA logbook on the WIA website. A number of stations in West Australia report hearing VK100 WIA being operated on the eastern seaboard but are missing out on needed contacts for the WIA Centenary Award. It would be appreciated if all clubs rostered to use the call sign, particularly when on 40 metres, put out a few calls for VK6 stations and listen out for them.